staying at the hotel across the way. I got, I got room service last night. What a delight. You make a phone call, 10 minutes later, there's a knock at your door, the sweetest, most polite man. Matt, come in. Matt, come in. <laughs> May you come in. I summoned you. <laughs> of course you may come in. A enter my liege. And then he says, uh, where would you like this? Where would you like this? And I lie. I lie every time. So just place it at the desk. You put it at the desk where I manage my correspondence. <laughs> the desk where I write my letters, sitting upright. That's where I'll eat my dinner. <laughs> One of these times I'd love to tell the truth. Where would you like this? All right, here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna dive back into the bed and pull the covers up to my chin. I want you to delicately place the tray on my tummy. And if you feed it to me, you can write in your own tip. <laughs> That's where I would like it. Why do I have to lie? I lied on the airplane. I lied to the flight attendant last night. Because I wanted the exit row. I'm six foot six. Six foot six. That's a lot of Jew. <laughs> That's so much Jew. We normally don't come in this size. but I wanted the exit row. But when you take the exit row, they come around and they deputize you a hero. <laughs> Are you willing and able to help in the event of an emergency? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm neither willing nor able to help in the event of an emergency. I, I will lose my mind. Are you kidding me? I took two Xanax to pack for this flight. <laughs> you think I'm gonna usher strangers from smoldering wreckage? <laughs> no. I played hockey when I, was a, when I was a child. Do you like me now? <laughs> I did. I did. I really wanted to, to figure skate. But then I, I, I knew myself, that I knew I would not be able to handle the scrutiny. And I realized that figure skating, as brutal as hockey is, figure skating is much more brutal, barbaric even. <laughs> they make the woman finish skating after she's fallen. <laughs> Lowest point in your life? Keep dancing, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, try another Lutz. They should race the Zamboni out there, scoop her up and whisk her off into a private room where they give her a carton of Marlboros and a pillow to scream into. <laughs> She's not gonna win. It's over. You never see a woman on the gold medal stand with slush running down her thigh. <laughs> Split lip and a bloody nose. Let her start to regroup. Instead they make her finish skating. Give her scores, we know the scores. <laughs> and then they interview her. She don't even give her time to recombobulate. She's apologetic. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I was just digging out from under an avalanche of broken dreams. <laughs> Hi mom, hi. Thanks for turning a carefree hobby into a joyless prison. I, I've never tasted a brownie. <sighs> Christina, why do you think you fell? Maybe because it was so slippery? <laughs> yeah, it was like a sheet of ice out there. They ought to do something about that. Maybe throw down some rocks all. And what's next for you, Christina? What's next? I'm gonna see if I can trade in this bronze medal for my childhood. <laughs> Thank you.